Hi everyone. So today we are going to do this lab generative AI with Vertex AI getting started. So in the description box, there is a link to open this lab. Just click on that link and you will see this page getting open. And if it is not logged in, you'll see here as uh, sign in or uh, join. Click on sign in and log in into your Google account. Once you're done with this, start the lab. So now let's start the lab. Click on start lab. So now copy your username, click on open Google Cloud Console, paste your username here, click on next, go to the lab, copy your password, paste your password here, click on next, click on I understand. Select I agree, click on agree and continue. Now, click on activate cloud shell. As you can see here on the top right corner, click on that. So what you have to do is in the description box, we have given a link. So go to the description box and copy that link. So this is my link. This will be given in the description box. So I'm going to copy this. Just paste it here. As you can see it uh, in the URL box, just paste it here and click on enter. So here, if it doesn't show the account which you used to log in into this lab, please click on switch your account. You should not do it with this account. You should do it with the account specified in this lab. So this is my account, right, which is specified in this lab, student F884. Just click on that. I'm selecting that. So here, select this Quick Labs GCP. Select Open Jupyter Lab. As you can see in the left bar, here you can see Generative AI. Click on that. Select Language. Click on prompts. As you can see here, intro prompt design, select that, double click on that. And just put your cursor here somewhere and then click on control A. That is you have to copy everything given under this. This blue thing shows that you have copied everything under this. So now we have to run every command given under this. So all you have to do is go to run, click on run selected cells. So once you click on run selected cells, the timer here gets on. You have to wait until the timer is completed. So please wait until the timer is completed. That is once the timer is completed, it states that all the commands under this are run and uh, you can proceed with the other thing. So my timer is done. So I'm going to do with the next lab. So all you have to do is you have to go back. That is click here on the three dots, which you can see here. Just click on that. Click on language. Click on getting started. And here you can see intro palm API. Just double click on that. 
similarly place your cursor in this and select everything and just run the selected cells as you can see here the timer got on you have to wait until the timer is completed as you can see here uh, 11 out of 39 cells are being run so you have to wait until 39 out of 39 commands are completed So now my timer got completed and uh, I'm going to go back to the lab to check my progress. I came back to my lab, just scroll down. Click on check my progress. Once you have done with it, you'll see a green color tick mark here. If you don't see that green color tick mark here like this, then just start doing the lab from starting. That is, you have to go open Google Cloud Console, log in into it and paste the link which we have given in the description box and everything. So only if you haven't seen the tick mark here, then you have to do the lab from starting. So please remember that. And once you have got completed with everything, all you have to do is end the lab. Uh, remember one thing, if you have completed the lab within 5 minutes, then you have to wait for 5 minutes. You should not uh, end the lab before 5 minutes, only then your progress will be recorded. If you complete the lab, please wait until it's 5 minutes. So it's already been 5 minutes, so I'm going to end my lab. I'm going to click on submit. Just give some rating and click on submit. Thank you.